come to our final item, a 1937 Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic, one of only two in the world. I could take the time to further describe this absolute gem, but you wouldn't be here today if you hadn't been dreaming about this car your entire life. Bidding starts at 30 million. 30 million, anybody? Thank you, Matt. 30 million. Do I hear 32? 32 million. Thank you, sir. 34, anyway. 34 on the telephone. 36, anybody? 36. 36 over there. 38. Do I have 38? 37, if you like. What do you think? 37. This is the one. 37. Thank you, sir. 37 over there. 38 million on the telephone. 39 in the room. Thank you, sir. 40 million. 40 million. Going once, going twice. Find the goal at 40 million. 41 million. 41 million. I am big. Going once, going twice. Sold for 41 million. Congratulations. The car is yours, sir. not gonna ring. You don't know that. I'm on a bridge in the south of France instead of on a beach in Brazil counting our money because you fell for the mark. I didn't fool, okay? If you look around and you don't know who the mark is, then it's you. That Ferrari's not coming back. You were played by a very bad girl. She'll pull. Can we focus, please? I do love the bad girls, though. Focus! All right, I heard you the first time. Yeah, I bet you did with those big ass ears. Jeez, there's nothing wrong with my ears. I've got dad's ears. That's us. You got this? Yeah, do you? You might need more of a running start. Oh, you're gonna tell me how to do my job? I'm just saying, one more step might make all the difference. Just drive.
cutting the brakes, really? That was your decision? I saved your ass back there. You should learn to be kinder to your brother. Half brother. We were trying not to draw attention to ourselves. <laughs> You know, I usually take your general shit attitude towards me as a thinly veiled cry for help, but not today, brother, because this beauty is our first step to getting flush. Woohoo! side of a truck. If only your dad could see you right now. Here we go. Did I ever tell you about the time I changed the oil on that 62 Ferrari? Terrible impression of that. Greatest goddamn day a grease jockey like me ever had. See, I heard the Ferrari before I saw it. Failed to check the floor of the garage. He's not gonna stop. Her body was like that of a... Elegant ones. The paint, a perfect red. The oil, we really got to get him the girl. Through. For a few hours, everything felt right in the world. And then, lack of vision, he was gone. Okay, time for bed, old man. Fine. Bye. Hey, get some sleep. I'm serious. Yeah. We got a car defense in the morning. Yeah, you're right. We should call it at night. Oh. So, uh, what is that you were saying about all the way? <laughs> I wanted this call. I didn't see what it is stolen from a madman. Let's be clear about that. Well, we don't ask you where you get your money. You don't ask us where we get our cars. <laughs> but sometimes you upset the wrong guy and you find trouble. Well, then don't upset us. <laughs> Come on now. All right, this is just business. You ordered a classic, Mr. Panahi. We delivered on time. If you just pay us, we'll be on our way. No, 
Nope, but I'm pretty sure the last time a guy wearing an ASCII got laid was 1972. So your brothers? Ah, he's my brother from another mother. Literally. Hello? Never mind. Would you like to know who I am? If you look to the west, just where the lake meets the shore, right at the tip, you see? About 200 meters from there is where I was born. The house I lived in was no bigger than the storage shed. My mother worked for a fishmonger, cleaning up scales and blood and gills until her fingers went well. She was stooped over as long as I ever knew her. I didn't want to hug her. She smell. Can you imagine not wanting to hug your own mother? <laughs> My father worked for a man who restored antique hunting rifles until the day he died. I learned all about Dunder Lever, exposed hammers, railing barrels, express sights, before I could walk. When he died, I started stealing wallets from the sailors in Marseille. Made quite a living. Kept expanding my operation. And now I'm the biggest black tar importer in Southern Europe. And a collector of all that is rare. And beautiful. <laughs> Untie them. I want to show you more beauties. Is that the Alfa Romeo 158? Yes. It was driven by Juan Manuel Fangio. This car finished first in the 1950 Monte Carlo Grand Prix. Receptive. Dodge 6, a right-handed steering. It was altered for Al Capone himself. Very convenient for a drive-by. Corvette C1. 64 Shelby Cobra. We got an Austin Healy. A Jaguar Type B. And, oh, a BMW 327. And an Aston Martin. 70? 69. 67 Mustang. Porsche 356. Jaguar XK120. Exactly right. All right. You're Tacoma Morier. Oh dear. Yeah. The entirety of my life has been invested in these cars. They're a constant reminder of how far I've come and how far I intend to go. That motherless freak Panay thiefed me, which means you thiefed me. Oh, Mr. Morier, we had no idea this was your car. We just thought it was purchased at auction and passing through Marseille. Ignorance of a crime against a man is no excuse for the crime itself. Whoa, 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 Cut me into what? <sighs> okay. Max Clamp. Max Clamp was a third generation heavy out of West Berlin. Born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Turns out he was the smart one in the family. Because at age 15, he started his MBA at the University of Munich. Seven years younger than any other student. At age 20, he proved himself not only brilliant with numbers, but capable of taking over the family business in his own unique way.
At age 30, his father handed him the reins to the Empire. And to celebrate the event, he gave him a gift. A 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO. Today worth roughly $38 million. We were gonna steal it from him here in Marseille. It's our plan. You know him? Clem. I know the bastard better than he knows himself. He crossed me on an important real estate deal in Berlin, which cost me dearly. He took Torino, Naples, Monaco, and then he decided to take something else from me, something. Priceless. Marseille. Marseille is mine. <laughs> well, sounds as if you don't like him very much. So, you say you're going to steal that 62 Ferrari right out of his compound. That is impossible. You let us go, and we can bring you Max Clem's most prized possession. It's not just a car, Mr. Morier. It's his legacy. What do you say? You have one week. A week? We're gonna need longer than that. Drop them back in Marseille. We've never planned a job inside a week before. We're in Marseille. We can't crew up that fast. What? What's that? Mass have to marry me. Now? Really? Yeah. That's great. I'm happy for you. I mean, she deserves better, but still. I'm taking the piss. All right? I want the best for you, brother. So you're okay with this? Of course. It's just, uh... Here we go. It's a genuine concern. You get married. You have a kid, the whole thing goes tits up, and I'm left holding the bag. We can't do this forever. But we can't stop in our prime. I'm sure Stephanie would agree with me. What did Dad say to us when he brought us together? You miss the first 15 years of being friends, don't miss the next 50? So let's get back on our feet and do what we do best. Garrett, after this job, I'm done. You're joking. What were you thinking of telling me? Just did. Where have you been? Honey, just... You scared the hell out of me. I could really get used to this. I called you all day. You didn't answer the phone. Why are you wet? A slight problem. What kind of problem? The kind where people are shut off roofs. What? <sighs> shut off roofs? I'm fine. But this is why I don't want you in on this one. There's always a risk involved, Andrew. That's part of the job. There's a place for her, Andrew. Out of the question. Not with these guys. Ah, oh, sweet. It's like my own private telenovela. You didn't tell her we've only got one week. This is why you need me. Plus, we're gonna need a crew if we're gonna pull off a job like this. Exactly what I thought. I got a friend here in Marseille. She can help us get the people we need. What? Relax. She's great. She taught me a lot. She's a fisherman. What? I said crew, Steph. I'm not sure a fisherman is exactly what we're looking for. Hmm. No trouble. Hey! Yes. Call me! Back here! Stop! So 
Welcome back. She's in. So, the bump is important, but the misdirection of the target is the key. And now you can rob poor tourists together. Stop! Get them thinking about one thing before you bump them. Like saying, excuse me, do you have the time? No, you don't. Would another good example of a misdirect be to get someone to fall in love with you, steal their stuff, and then leave while they're asleep? <laughs> Brazil, Brazil. Yeah, that would work really well. <laughs> Bonjour, David. What did you bring me, you thief? Some croissant? Your favorite. Uh-uh. First, you have to prove to my friends how good you are at blowing things up. Whoa! Open the safe without harming the pastries and they're yours. I might go away. Not this time, no. I want to focus on the job. You sure about that? Yes. Yes. Anyway, I think we should be more concerned about how we're going to work this from the inside. I want to do that. I'm the last one anyone would expect. Staff. What? Can I talk to you for a sec? What's the matter with you? How many times are we gonna have the same fight? I'm just trying to keep you safe. So let me get this straight. You've risked my life in the past, but now you won't. Yeah. Is that it? Yes, that's right. Why? Because we're together now? I haven't changed. I have. You know I can handle it. Andrew, shutting me out. I'm trying to protect me like one of those cars. It won't work. I know you're afraid to lose me, but this is the life we chose. Don't you see that?
good. Really good. Nah. You have friends that can drive like that? So, what's your plan? I don't need one. You've got to be able to adapt. Just start low. Yeah, I know what to do. Garrett, let me help you with this disease. No, thanks. Fair but firm. That's what I always do. I don't steal from people who don't have it coming. Fine. Be my guest. Who wants to be your best? I'm buying. We are prepared to pay you each a thousand euros for your driving services. Then, you know the way out. Look, you guys need to counter. That's how this works. Otherwise, I don't know where your heads are, so. Okay, then, just a little bit of help, please. Five grand. That's my final offer. Samuel, ça vous va? What? Chacun? Chacun. Juste pour conduire. Mm. They don't speak English. I tried to tell you, but... You knew about this, didn't you? No. You're a wanker. Five, five grand. <laughs> We're good then. Who are you, huh? You gonna swing that thing? Go ahead. Except I understand you want to get in with Max Klemp. I can help with that. Hey, I asked you a question. My name is Laurent. Oh, well, this was lovely, Laurent. Morier? <laughs> Laurent Morier. I'm Giacomo Morier's first cousin. I believe you had a nice day of skeet shooting with him. He asked me to join up with you you with whatever you have planned. <laughs> so you mean spy on us and report back to him? Exactly. Let me ask you, who is your contact inside Max Clem's organization? I'll tell you. It's me. How? I know a guy who knows a guy. The guy I know is cool. He does dirty work for Clemp. We cannot ignore the score. <clears throat> Mr. Coon. What the hell do you want, Laurent Maurier? I have a business proposition you might be interested in. And what's your cousin think of you being here? What my cousin doesn't know is what my cousin doesn't know. What are your names? Foster. I'm Garrett, and this is my brother, Andrew. That's cute. Who's in charge? I am. I got this one, boys. Okay, here's the deal. These guys are the two best drivers in the business. We can steal anything with an engine. Armored trucks, high-end delivery vans, limousines. Why don't we just show you? Wait. If we pull a job for you, we get an introduction. To who? Max Clem. I don't know Max Clem. Oh, come on. Well, that's too bad. Wait.
Bet enough games. Take a look out there. See that cargo plane? It's a vehicle with an engine, right? I want you to stop it. Now. What? Listen, that's not what we meant. If that plane takes off, then you can forget about Max Klemp. Garrett? Yep. You see that plane about to take off? Yeah. Don't let it. Ready? Oh, where are you going? To watch you. What the hell are you doing? We got a plane to catch. You can watch from right here. Congratulations. You just robbed one of Max Clem's private planes. He owns this airstrip and everything in it. I'm quite sure he'll be looking for an introduction to you now. some balls. Good for you. My pilot, on the other hand, was weak. I can't stand 
understand the week? Do you two took on for a bit of a ride? Something like that. Do you know how much a new propeller costs? We're worth it, though, if I may, Mr. Klemp. My brother and I have pulled jobs on all five continents. Your car collection is legendary. We can help you add to it. Any car, any time. We're not rookies. I think our work speaks for itself. You can easily hire the gutter punks down in Marseille to steal what needs stealing, but if you want it done right, We have a reputation. You. Me? No. The one without the mouth, the big guy. Come here. Oh, big guy. Pull this nail for me. You know, uh, my brother really handles the negotiation. There's nothing to negotiate. I don't care about reputation or how good you think you are. I care about one thing. Trust. That not many people in this town you can trust. It makes you think you're one of them. We're not from this town. Neither am I. You can buy trust, Mr. Klemp. Respect, on the other hand, you can't put a price on that. I'll be in touch. Thank you. You know what? Something wrong? I'm a car enthusiast. You want to see my garage? Don't you think I know that you're Giacomo Moyer's cousin? Second cousin. Second cousin. I think. I never get those things right. First cousin once removed, second cousin. Why are you here? Look, Mr. Clamp, let him answer. Two years ago, I went to my cousin to ask for work in front of all his men he spun me around kicked me in the ass told me to go beg for scraps in someone else's junkyard said our blood meant nothing to him let me tell you something Mr. Clem when an opportunity comes along were you standing on a cliff's edge I'll be the one who push is that so? seen one of these outside a car magazine. Ah, she's gorgeous. It's not a car. It's a masterpiece. It trumps them all, right? Oh. All right, enough. Get out of here. safe. He's a liability. What'd you say? I said you're a goddamn liability, and the last thing I need is an amateur in my crew. Amateur? You wouldn't even have looked in the garage if it weren't for me. I clocked that garage in the first five seconds. What I didn't do was draw attention to it. I found out what needed finding out. You got the code, didn't you? Nah. You overplayed your hand. Having you around is a mistake. You think my cousin is gonna let you go on without me? I wouldn't bet on it. 
And you said earlier about throwing Moye off a cliff. Is that true? I love my cousin. Really? What now? They forced their way in and said they would wait for you. Officer Dapol was Interpol, and this is Officer Closon. You are Garrett and Andrew Foster? Yeah, that's right. And who's this? Simon Dardin. Sorry, what? Simon Dardin. What's this about? Well, you tell me. Why would we be here, standing in your apartment? Well, I don't know. Seems illegal, though. Do you have to have a warrant in France? I think you have to have a warrant. <laughs> Funny guy. We are investigating a stolen car ring all over Europe. And the names that we hear again and again are two brothers named Foster. Now, are you sure that it's Foster coming up and not uh, Foster? I see. You are smart guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know that my mom in their eyes when they realize they're not so smart. You must see that every morning when you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> see you soon, Foster Brothers. We'll be there when you're not so smart. Seems like I need to be more worried about the two of you than you need to worry about me. We need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Listen, you say one word of this to your cousin, and I'll be the person throwing somebody off a cliff. Yeah? Tell me you dropped this, the radar isn't going off. I'm ignoring it. You shouldn't. Yeah, that's why I have you. We're just relying on way too many people we don't know for this not to go sideways. We're a team, remember? The sooner you start to realize that, the sooner we can just get on with it. Do you really think I want to steal cars for the rest of my life? There are other ways to make Dad proud. Stubborn old dog, wasn't he? Never thought I'd forgive him when he left. You see him in that hospital bed, chasing dreams till the very end. He wasn't the best dad. Well, he brought us together there, didn't he? It's just Stephanie. She, she changes things. No, Andrew, she doesn't. The reason why you love her is because she's more like us than you care to admit. Surely you see that. So what are you saying? How we continue to work together as a threesome? Well, I mean, I wouldn't have used that word, but now that you mentioned it. <laughs> is there a moment you can't ruin?
How do we know that? Now he's men. So, let's hear how you're gonna do this. The best way to steal from a thief 
is to lure him away from the stash. How are we gonna do that? Well... First, we're gonna get our hands on a bulldozer. Then we're gonna steal some stuff. Police cars, police vans, and some riot gear. So you're going to boost police cars? Clamp has a lot of policemen in his pocket. We know, and we're counting on that. Yes. Max Clamp. This is Corinne from the police station in Marseille. I was told to tip you that you were being raided sometime today. To a corner, he'll bare his teeth and fight to the death. But if you give that rat an option, he'll take it. And then you can steer him in whichever direction you want. Um, how are you sure he'll run? Because all rats desert a sinking ship. It's instinct. Just remember, you're dealing with a very smart rat. We're smarter. How stupid do you think I am? The minute your cousin stepped foot on my property, I knew you were up to something. You learned nothing from our history. You have something of value? They take it. The drugs, the mule roots, the ports, and now Marseille. This is my town. I'll never let you take it. I tell you one thing. I'm always ten steps ahead of him. So whatever you're gonna do, I'd think twice. Good to see you, old friend. Say tomorrow, and I drive that car. 7 a.m. here. To be surveyed. Too bad we have to leave your sexy girl behind, huh? I'm sure my cousin will take good care of her.
Bonsoir, monsieur. So, the food is good? I see you are still getting along so well. Although, I should tell you, we have discovered that you are not Simon Dardin. You are the cousin of Monsieur Giacomo Morier from right here in Marseille. Good work, officer. You should be proud of your investigative skills. You lied to us. We know something is up. And when we find out what it is, we'll all be spending much more time together. I guarantee that. No, I'm going to enjoy this. What are you talking about? We can't have them follow us, or none of this is going to work. So, we're going to have Interpol think that we had a falling out. Falling out? Yeah. <laughs> What? What do you want? I'm hungry. Hey, hey, come on, please. I thought we could eat together. Huh? What do you think? You think I'm stupid? You think I'm gonna fall for your little trick? Well, you fell for Andrews, didn't you? I bet you didn't even fight back. What'd you say? Ah! Ah! Hey, Paul, what'd you say? arriver.
C'est quoi ça Monsieur Maurier Oui. Interpol. Out of the car, please. Forgive me for being direct, Monsieur Maurier, but are you not here expecting to meet two men by the name of Foster? I don't know what you're speaking of. I'm speaking of the two men whom we witnessed beating Mr. Laurent here. I'm speaking of the two men who are going to incite a crime war for you. You are all under arrest. It's okay, I have more. I have more. We don't have time. We gotta get inside now. The best way to steal from a thief is to lure him away from a stash. Right. Tell officer Vanderberg. This is the second time he sent his beast to sting me, and it won't work this time I will tell him. There's no officer Vanderberg. <laughs> Chez Clem, c'est à droite. Ils sont pas chez Clem. Ils sont en train de voler mes voitures.
bad. these cars.
bridge behind us.
I'll be fine, don't worry. Good. Hey, next time we want to drive. You got it.